Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of the PAX Pokemon League podcast for PAX Australia 2015. Behold my guests. Behold them. Behold me. Behold them. So let's go around we the... Are pretty uh, awesome. You guys are. You are really, really good. We actually have three all-new leaders this week. Um, uh, are we? Oh, sorry. I do tell a lie. Yeah. You were there last <laughs> week. I remember your awesome jacket. All right, so let's go around the uh, the table. The first one people might know as that horrible Team Rocket pillar, fellow with the uh, with the slowpoke tails. Slowpoke tails. Yeah, I love that costume. So introduce <laughs> yourself, sir. Hi, I'm Dazzles. I am a little Pokemon obsessed, and I like to run around dressed as a Team Rocket grunt. Yeah. And use flamethrower constantly. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, that business with Phil hating flamethrower. This guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why he had so many problems with Mega, uh, Mega Wise last year. I had absolutely no problem whatsoever. Not an issue. It may be because I was an electric leader, but that's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, nothing at all. All right. So next around the list is a brand new leader. Uh, I cannot remember, Duke, if you were actually uh, a challenger last year. Yes, I was. You I were? ended up getting... Um... Eight badges last year. I'm so proud of myself. Um, yep, yep. And yeah, getting them all on the first day and then not battling for the rest of the time because no Elite Four. Yeah. There were a few who went and tried to scout out all of the badges. Like, I've got all but one here. This is actually last year's badges. Um, nice. I'm actually missing the one that was uh, Saturday only. Phil's, Phil's wife had that one. I thought about trying to get more than the eight, but everyone was so busy. I was just like, you know what? I'll let all the people who don't have their eight badges go ahead. And I just went and explored packs. Yeah. Fair Remember, enough. you got mine. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. I actually need to uh, come packs. I need to give one of my uh, Enigma badges from last year to one of our new challenges, Kaka. He actually beat me during uh, a showdown event not too long ago. <laughs> So I'm going to throw in the badge. Nice. Awesome. All right. So, yeah. So welcome to the, uh, the podcast and welcome to the uh, the league, Duke. Thank you. All right. And finally, the person who needs no introduction, apparently, because I've forgotten who he was. Uh, Volacris, also known as Glade. Uh, yeah, that was Volacris from those who have challenged me last year. Um, I was a poison gym leader. This year I am Glade. I won't do really much more than that just yet, but yeah, Glade this year should yep. be very fun. I believe that was your badge last year? No, that was the Dragon Gym. I was that was the Dragon Gym. Uh, hang on. I do have it here somewhere. Let me find it. <laughs> I am most oh, organized. The dragon there it gym. is. There it is. It's that one. That's it. I think I, I collected... I not remember if I got that one. Yeah, that was one of the ones I didn't get. Yeah. Oh, there you the go, one... so... The one that was actually the most coveted was, in fact, that one. Oh, hang on, my webcam's flying up. Bean can badge? Yeah, bean, bean can badge. badge. Uh, uh, wait. We actually had a hobo type leader, and it was incredible. Oh yeah, that was great. He so, <laughs> was so, great. Um, uh, it was the first gym leader I saw there, other than myself. So we swapped badges, as is the gym leader custom. Yep. So yep. I think we got, I got all but one, or maybe even all of them. I'm not sure. Um, the different badges, just because the gym leaders like to swap them around and collect them ourselves. It's a fun little thing to do. Yeah. All right. So welcome, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. And indeed, again, I am Professor Fern, as always. Uh, and this is our dinky, dinky little podcast for the... Oh, dear. I have just noticed that there is a stray uh, Esper on the screen. Uh, I probably should get rid of that before it does horrible things. <laughs> Oh, and then it evolved Never the trust Astic. a stray Esper. Never. It's they actually... Are. Actually, you know what, Duke? As long as you keep that Meowstic on, in you, on your hands, I'm going to leave it there. That's left All over right. from Alice sitting in that same panel last week. Huh, so there you go. that Esper can... I, can, I guess it can just stay there. All right. Uh, quick apology, of course, guys. Uh, I know the video looks a little bit weird because... Well, Skype does some strange things at the moment with uh, regards to colour balances and whatnot, so we'll just have to put up with it until whatever we can find to fix it. All right. Shouldn't be too bad. No, no, it looks 
It looks acceptable. Everything looks a little bit washed out, but it's, it's passable. All right. So, uh, first things first. Uh, Dezels, I promised yes. on the last episode that you would tell the story where you sold a slowpoke tail. Oh, are you talking um, for the... Right. So, after PAX last year, I went to um, an event called the Mega Dev Party. Um, and basically, it's where a whole bunch of Australian developers went and just caught up and chatted and towards the end of the night, a few people who work on a game called Freedom Fall pop up and they're super excited because they've got this big vinyl poster that's like as wide as my arms and probably twice as tall as me. And they're really excited about it and they decide they're going to give it out. And they're like, who wants this Freedom Fall poster? And about half a dozen of us raise our hands throughout the group and they decide the only solution is to run an auction to see who wants to win it. Now I'm standing there in my Team Rocket Grunt suit. I've got the sign in my hand and Slowpoke Tails hanging behind my back. So they've got no idea I've got them. And I just pop my hand up and I go, one Slowpoke Tail. And they respond like straight up sold. No one else stood a chance because I mean Slowpoke Tails. And they just wander over to me and they're like, so... The slowpoke tail, is that like an in-game trade or something? I'm like, oh, no, 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 I've got a whole bunch of them here. Which one do you want? And they were just <laughs> shocked and so excited because they had no idea I had like four oh, posts. I had four slowpoke tails. That poster was problematic. I couldn't work out how to fit it in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a room in my house that is tall enough for me to stand this thing up full size and I sold it for I traded it for a slowpoke tail it was brilliant it's one of the best it trades was. I've ever done <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's basically a sock filled with fluff it was wasn't it no no I actually sewed all these things together yeah. oh, okay, I should okay. have grabbed one out of my room they're, you should they're have. hanging right next to the shirt I should have ah, well, next time next time next time mm. alright <laughs> So yeah, great way to start off a podcast. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> this is the bartering the... system is alive and well at PAX. Very much so. Uh, this is the sort of silliness you can expect on the league. Yeah. All right. So once again, we do have a showdown battle queued up. Uh, this time it's versus Dezels and Duke, but we'll get to that in a bit. So, uh, topic of discussion today or tonight is uh, basically what to expect of the league. Like last week, we. Expected explained a little bit about the history and how to get involved this is more to, uh, about what you're going to encounter when you get there and it's going to be uh, both for leaders and for challengers uh, I can tell you guys now who have not been leaders uh, in the league before the leader experience is a very different uh, experience to what a challenger is uh, a lot of lines it looks like oh yeah lots and lots of lines <laughs> Yeah, luckily there's the whole beanbag couches and that people could sit on. It's quite, it's quite lovely. Yeah, most of us uh, last year we kind of found a spot and we kind of settled ourselves in nice and close to the charging stations and stayed there. <laughs> it was That's convenient for those of us looking for you. Oh yes, very much so. Yeah. Even though um, I know there was at one point I actually had a, a kid attached to my backpack charging his, uh, his uh, DS, which was. Kind of, kind of weird, but this is still great. All right. Ooh, where to begin? Where to begin? Where to begin? So, I suppose we can just do it quickly from a, uh, a challenger's perspective. Uh, once again, in order to uh, access the league, in order to take part, all you need is a Pokemon team, a copy of Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire, or X and Y. Preferably Ruby and Sapphire, but we can accommodate you if you don't have that. Uh, basically, you look for people wearing these scarves, the bright green with the Pokemon League Watchma thingy on it. You walk up and you just ask for a challenge. And then spam flamethrower. Then spam, <laughs> spam flamethrower and win. Well, right. unless you're versing a water team, then that's kind of Against problematic. Against my team, but... that's actually very true. Um, but not too much more about that. Uh, but yeah, keep your flamethrower. <laughs> Please. Do we... We very much appreciate it. Do we have a water team uh, this year? Uh, I'll yeah, know. I think so. I have to look. I don't actually have the forums up at the moment, so I can't look. All right. All right. Yep. So yeah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. So as you progress through the league, you rack up eight of these darling little badges. When you do that, you can challenge the elite four for emblems. 
You get four of them, and then you challenge the challenger. Uh, the challenger, the champion. <laughs> you challenge yourself. You can challenge yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. It's, hey, it's like the, last uh, year. Dark, it was... It's like the Dark Link battle uh, from Legends of Zelda. It's like you challenge your alter ego. It's quite fun. A few of the leaders actually, actually went into that last year. Someone showed up with an all ditto team. <laughs> that, was good, you're, you're, that was fun. I ran a ditto <laughs> on my team last year, and it saved my bacon against the dragon team, the yeah. dragon team leader. Yep, yep. Uh, that he was quite a quite a tough battle. Yeah, destroyed everything I had that could possibly counter dragons. Had a. Um, Double Dragon Dance, Dragonite, and I switched in a choice ditto against it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice, very nice. All right. <sighs> now, as for leaders, uh, our experience is, is going to be a bit different. We do a lot, a lot of battles over the weekend. Uh, from my count last year, I took part in, I believe... About 80 battles, all told. Uh, most of them were 6v6. Yes, you have. <laughs> Too late. You're ours now. You can't back out. <laughs> and, yeah. So, as a leader, unless there's a really, really good reason, we just lost Roller Chris. Hmm? I'm still no, here. Never mind. He's come back. That's all good. That's right. Your video exploded for a moment there. That's strange. <laughs> Very. Uh... Yeah, so I know uh, some leaders did less battles than I did, and there was a few who did even more. Like, there was a few who did uh, explicitly only uh, a three Pokemon rotation, and they got through a lot pe a lot of people a lot quicker. Uh, for the most part, I stuck to six. Uh, yeah. But that, that, as a leader, that's up to you. As to what you I can do. I got through about 52, 55, something like that. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I was only there for, for the two days. Um, this yep. year, I'll be here for all three. So yep. I'm hoping to get through a few more because I have a lot of leftover badges. Yep. Uh, one word of advice for new leaders is if you decide that there's a panel at PAX you want to go to, particularly on Sunday, uh, sorry, Saturday, uh, close your line, take off your scarf about an hour before you even want to move. <laughs> that way it'll take That's you that long to... It'll take you a while to actually get through everyone, especially if you're running for the tip. six pokes. Mm. But uh, yeah, unless mm. there's a very good reason, leaders won't outright say, no, we can't unless we can't battle. So if you see a leader and we're wearing the scarf, we're open for battles. Come on and challenge us. Yes. Challenge yep. us also. Yes, yes. <laughs> there are, I'm excited I, for all the battling. Oh, it's, there's going to be a lot of battling. Great. Last year, yeah, I actually just... Uh, at the end of PAX, I put down Pokemon and didn't touch it for a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I had my fill of Pokemon. That's blasphemy. You can't, you can't just not play I think Pokemon. I even um, at some stage, I had to go have a lunch break or something between the battles, um, and someone caught me with my scarf on even then, so I had to go over and have lunch with the guy while we were battling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> um, but, yeah, for the guys who are doing it for the first time this year, let me tell you, um, I have never had more fun it is um, incredible a weekend, fun, yeah. just, just sitting down at the handheld lounge, surrounded by people who play Pokemon, uh, sharing in all the battles and handing out badges. It's just the best. I love it. It is, it is. <laughs> like, I sat down, I went to a couple of things Saturday morning and then sat down in the handheld lounge. I did not move from that point until you know, yep. about, about four, I think. Four in the oh, afternoon. Wow. And I don't right. regret it. Each, I do not regret it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, lots oh, of great I've battles, lots got... of great people. Oh, um, I might be running a panel, so I think that's the only time I probably won't be doing battles. We may have to come visit. And, I need... yep. and I'll <laughs> need to make sure that I take off the... If I do end up doing a panel, I'm, I'm going to have to make sure I take off the scarf so I don't get random challenges in the crowd. That would be hilarious, though. It just adds to the experience of the panel. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Like, you take the panel with a battle on the side. Just like, okay, question, and then some battle. Well, That'd hey, if you've got your capture card hooked up at the time and on a big screen, why not? End your panel that way. Uh, let's... <laughs> you know what? While we're here, take the opportunity. Plug shamelessly. 
Oh, there's nothing wrong with shame. Um, there's nothing shameless about plugging stuff. True. So just people well don't like playing. it that much. <laughs> so that so people know where to find you and what panel to watch. What are you doing? Um, I might be running a panel on game jams. So game oh, jams nice. are kind of short um, competitions where you kind of build a computer game or a um, tabletop game in period usually usually about 48 hours. Sometimes they can go up to a month. I know that there's a weekly game jam that's about an hour um, and I'm hoping to be running a panel on that. Okay, give, tell me if Excellent. you do get it because I've got to go see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check it out because you can get some very interesting things coming out of those game jams. Oh, yeah. I love doing them. They're so much fun. Mm. Um, I actually do YouTube weekly videos about um, upcoming game jams because it seemed like a fun idea. <laughs> I have too much time on my hands, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, if you want, plug it here. You've got an open platform. Plug, plug, plug. You can find week, uh, bi-weekly videos every... Two videos a week. That's bi-weekly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so sure. Yes. Why not? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> bi-weekly videos on uh, Game Jam Weekly, talking about game jams as well as games that have come out of them. And you'll find me talking there regularly because funsies. Excellent. Because why not? Absolutely. I shall uh, endeavour to put a link in the description for you. Because awesome. Go support our go support our fellow leaders. All hmm. right. So that's uh, that's really about it. All we have to say on what to expect for packs. It is a ridiculous amount of fun, but as a leader, be prepared to, you know, spend a lot of time meeting some really awesome people. Yeah. Bring lots of water. Bring yeah, water. That's, that's something you definitely don't want to be passing out during a battle. <laughs> if you pass out, you oh want no, to make the forfeit. gym leader, the gym leader fainted. <laughs> <Victory>. <laughs> Uh, that's actually good advice for anyone going to PAX is bring water bring a bring a water bottle very yeah. good advice yeah the um the stalls there aren't really the cheapest things in the world oh no yeah um, that was probably well one of my biggest critics criticisms of the uh the venue last year like 2013 the PAX in the uh the Melbourne showgrounds it was great but the venue really wasn't suited for it well, it wasn't nearly big enough, didn't have enough halls, and yeah. It was a bit of a pain to get to. Well, yeah, you, know, you recall like, everyone kind of cramming onto that one tram. I like the um, 2013 one because I got in earlier than everyone else because they thought I was there to set up. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was an interesting first day, walking in with somebody else trying to find my way in. And yep. then being able to look through the floor before even the uh, press got into the room. <laughs> I got a free game out of it. So oh, that was sweet. fun. Oh, nice. Sweet. One of the guys thought it was very funny and gave me a game. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want Nintendo to turn around and do Pokemon distributions at PAX. I would love that. If they would give us something really yeah. cool, like um, Shia, I'm trying to think. What would be awesome? Shiny Mud. Uh, Shiny Nine Tails. Shiny Nine Tails would be <laughs> awesome. I've got a Shiny Nine Tails, and I love that thing. It is so pretty. Oh, oh, even better. I want Hoopers. Hey, there you go. Shiny Hoopers. Know, done. Shiny Hoopers. Give out Shiny Hoopers. There's no regular stealth hoopers. rocks for no truly apparent reason. I think regular Hooper, as a, as a start, would be nice. Yeah, that so was regular Hooper. Yeah. There you go, Nintendo. If you happen to stumble across this, Shiny Hoopers at PAX. Make it happen. <laughs> Speaking of, Isn't actually, uh, that just reminded me. Uh, I've done something absolutely insane this last week. I don't know why I've done it, but I'm going to do it. And that what is to start building my living decks. That's not insane. Yes. Very, uh, yes, if you is. need any help with it, let me know. I have everything. Nice. I have the completed comp decks, but not a living decks. I'm almost I there. I was determined to complete my living decks in time for the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire release. So within about half an hour of um, getting my copy of Omega Ruby, I'd completed my Pokedex. <laughs> oh, your That's Pokedex. Sick. I thought you said decks, as in like the TCG game. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, what? what? What's insane yeah. about that? I don't so, care. Wait, I'm also working on one of those. 
Oh, he's got the foul, the album. He's come prepared. I'm working on. I've got two of them. This is like every Beat Pokemon that. I'm working on putting in here. Uh, what have you oh. got there? It's um the Japanese. It's a Japanese uh, box set from the new newest set with a um, Gyarados Pikachu and a um, Magikarp Pikachu. Okay. And Magikarp Pikachu's attack is try to splash. <laughs> uh, flip a coin. Okay. Fails, you fail. It's like the best card in the game. It's OP. You, it must be nerfed. <laughs> what happens if you actually Still succeed? Still no Charizard. Uh, 10 damage. Nah. <laughs> That's it. Just 10 no, damage. No Charizard, eh? Jeez, I don't yeah, even know what happened to my old card collection. That's that's years ago. I don't think it's actually in any uh, solid condition anymore. Mine's in my room somewhere. This is just like, I want one of every Pokemon in here. Yep. Yes. That's a dark pit. Amiibo. That was a dark pit. Uh, sure. Apparently the people over in the States are still clamoring for that, and I managed to get one early. Excellent. Yeah, I got one at home. It is. So anyway, Pokemon. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> the living decks... Uh, oh, uh, the, the idea was, is uh, I was sitting there and I was thinking, okay, I'm sick of grinding the battle maze on for battle points. I'm going to take advantage of Pokemon Bank and their ludicrous spending of Pokemiles. So I figured, hey, I need to fill up the bank. Why not? Living Dex. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I have I have two DSs. Yeah. Um, and I do so much breeding that I want to trade them all out to get Pokemiles. And then all of the junk that I get that can't be used for breeding or anything, I just shove onto one of the Pokebanks because I've got two of them on these, these uh, DSs. I have 70 full boxes of junk <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> wow, that's nuts. Only 20 or 30 boxes of just bred Pokemon because I've breed for too many shinies because they're nice and I like them. Um, or just for competitive use and if I if I if I've bred too many to be bothered to like just release, I just dump them on the bank with my living decks or almost living decks. Um uh, yeah, I'm at about thirty boxes. It's just I don't want to go any further. I'm like stop the madness. Yeah. See I don't want to I don't want to release them because I know I can use them to earn me battle points. Yeah. So well, good and seventy boxes of Pokemon generates a lot of them. What I was going to say is, like, you clean. Not only are you getting battle points, you're also cleaning up the um, GTS, the uh, GTS one Pokemon at a time. Yeah, one. You need more people you like you. Nah, I did it. I just did it the old way, where uh, like, if I got uh, bred up a halfway decent Pokemon, like three IV or better, I would put it onto Wonder Trade. If I got anything worse than it, I just release it. I never actually yeah. thought to just just cram them all in the battle, uh, in the uh, the bank. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Um, <laughs> sadly, I don't have the bank anymore, so... Oh, you let it oh, expire? I, could, I didn't... My um, old game, soft, uh, I had to soft re like reset the whole thing because it um, completely broke. Ooh. It wouldn't let me start up the game anymore. Lost all my sh like, I lost my three shinies that I had. I lost... All my legendaries, all my Pokemon back from em um, like Emerald. Oh, and it's like I was so pissed off that day. I was about to quit, but then I was like, "All right, whatever. I'll just re-breed everything again." God damn it! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, what Pokebank's great for. I have so many spare breeders in my main Pokebank. I've got a full living decks. I'm working on a hidden ability decks, which trust me is pain. <laughs> uh, yeah so I keep my shinies in the bank like if I'm I'll bring them out if I'm going I know I'm going to show them off to people like I bring out the shiny ground down when I really want to annoy people but oh, um yeah that was the best one to trade day ever that one but uh yeah I keep them in the bank when I'm not showing them off well I use my shiny swampert on my team so yeah. I love that shiny swampert it is it was like I ended up getting it from one of my friends, and they it was like fully EV, fully IV'd, had battle ready. It was amazing, and I'd love it. Wow, oops! And then I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost another host. This is no good. Who did we lose? 
Was it me? No, no, it was uh, Glade. We lost Glade again. Ah. I'm still here, I swear. No, oh, no, no, wait. There he is. Oh, yeah, yes, he I am. didn't leave on my end. So. Yeah. yeah um, must be you, Fern. I but I definitely find my shinies. Yeah. I tend to uh, keep them around. Um, because that's why I make them to use them. Yep. Um, yep. testing of my team. Um, yeah. Just spoiler alert. Expect some sparkles, because um, I'm bringing I'm bringing all that goodness this year. <laughs> um. Yeah. Good times. Sure. Great. Yeah, I, th I think I've only got one competitively viable shiny Pokemon, and it's it, it's 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 just not quite the right stats. I think it's not perfect defense, and that's my stupid, stupid shiny Togepi. <laughs> uh, I hate shiny Togepi. It is so pointless. Mm. It's better than uh, shiny Garchomp. Oh, not that. The little ones look okay. Not the Garchomp. No. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about Shinies is the number of them where they've just turned around and be like, you know what? Let's make it green. <laughs> yeah. But no, sure. you've, got, you've got a few. Like Togepi's one. Anorith is another. Uh, not Anorith, sorry. Um, uh, the bird one. Archaeops. Archaeops, Archaeops yeah. Where, oh, okay, so let's just swap two colors and see if anyone notices. Well, they did that with Sylveon, and Sylveon looks absolutely fabulous. Sylveon yeah, sure. swapped the white and the pink, didn't they? Uh, the swapped the blue. No, no it's blue. It's oh, blue. yeah. And the blue with the pink. Yeah. yeah and it looks wonderful. really and, awesome. And then um, you get some truly incredible ones like um, Ponyta and Rapidash. Ooh, oh, yeah, the yeah. blue flame. The blue flame is really cool. Um, not going to really ask whose brighter it was to make Cradley bright pink. Um, but... <laughs> I'll live with it. Um, <laughs> I've got to see this. One second. I love the bright pink po um, shinies. They look really hilarious, especially because they're so out of place. It, I do not I like Cradley. It is such a dumb-looking Pokemon. It's so cool, though. This big, derpy barnacle thing. And you just look at it. It is great. a... It has a nickname, and it's not one that's safe to say on air. Yeah, no, yeah no, I know exactly not. what that is. Yes, <laughs> you do. It's not hard one to uh, to figure out. It's like um, Shiny Cloister. It's nicknamed. That is not safe to say. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll I haven't looked, let me have a look at Shiny. Shiny Cloister. I haven't seen Shiny Cloister. You understand as soon as you see it. Okay. Shiny well, Cloister. Probably. There it is. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Oh, you're going oh. into robot territory. Nice. I know, right? Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure it. I see it, but that might be because I'm colorblind. Yeah, sorry, probably. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I can tell you after this is over. Okay. Wait, uh, moving on. Moving on. How about a battle? Yes. 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 I challenge you to do a battle, Team Rocket. <laughs> Bring right. it. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's switch over to the battle panel. Here we are. Which does not seem to be working right now because reasons. Hang on. I don't know why it is not working. Bear with me one quick second. There we go. Yeah. That fixed it. Okay. So, on the that side, I don't know. I want to say left, but I don't know how it's going to come out across the video. We have Dezels with a Gallade, a Charizard, and a Ninetales. And on the other side, we have Duke with a Holucha, a Swampert, and a Roton Wash. Any particular t reason you guys went for these teams, or just because? Uh, Dezel, well, you want to go first? Yeah, I personally went with this team because I really like Volpex. Everyone likes <laughs> and, Volpex, and it's adorable. It, it's it's like my, my, my signature Pokemon and, and Ninetales is a competitive form of that. And the Charizard is a nice um, boost to um, back up for it. And the Gallade is it's Gallade. the physical attack off of the team. Excellent, excellent. I know you're kind of actually spoiling it for each other, but whatever, who cares? Eh, All right. doesn't matter. Um, again, without spoilers, Duke, how about your team? Hmm. Spoiler warning. Um, nah, it's... I decided just to go with a few of, um, 
few Pokemon that I really like, uh, plus some things that may be hinting to something in the future. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, no it's a secret. It's a is, secret to everyone. Is it so <laughs> It's a secret to everyone. Don't worry. It is. Don't worry it is. about it. I'm not. I'm not saying which Pokemon it is. I'm just saying there may be a hint somewhere in this team. Uh, let's throw out a quick disclaimer here. The Pokemon you see on this uh, on this podcast, at least until we start doing uh, leader reveals a bit closer to packs, uh, are not the Pokemon you will be fighting at packs. Exactly. So, I don't know now, what I was talking about before. I don't know either. I don't know. All right. So, if you two are ready, <laughs> go for it. Yeah. Press the okay. button. Uh, go just... I'm not that sure what you're going to lead it with. It's confusing me. Let's go <laughs> oh, with him. I... Yeah, I thought so. Oh, <laughs> that is okay. awfully loud. Hang on a moment. Let me just... Uh... <laughs> oh, so don't hit any more buttons everyone. just yet. Yeah, just hold fire. Uh, the showdown, for some strange reason, has decided to be extremely loud. There we go. Are we so ready Swamp to go? The... We are. Go for it. Okay, Swampert's the big threat on that team. It's the one that has me super concerned, so I'm hoping to just, you know, murder it. GG, mate. Which is... <laughs> oh, ow. Yeah. <laughs> that... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, on. I, I saw that well... one coming a mile off. <laughs> what? It's the swamp pet I always got... lose. Okay. This is the uh, same swamp pet that I got from my friend. Um, identical, and this is why I love using it. I accidentally found out one day it could survive a solar beam from a um, Mega Charizard Y, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I'm going to use this on every team. Nice. It's pretty bulky. I'm very surprised. And the it's mirror cool. code did not see that coming. Oh, yeah. Swampert can be an absolute tank when it wants to be. Mm. Like Miracle, I'm seeing two different type of bandages here, and you go with Miracle. It's interesting. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Still, got the job done. With this. Ooh, Mega Gallade. Nice. And okay, I wasn't sure if this was going to be the Mega or Mega Charizard, so I was preparing for both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Holucha, I love Holucha. Just all together. Oh, I it love is a Holucha. nasty one, isn't it? Um, and it I looks so it's... cool. Pelusha yeah. is just badass all the way through. I love the shiny of it just because it's like, it look, I don't know, just something about the color change looks excellent. It's it well, is. it's a well done. Yeah. I think it's gonna outspeed me, but no, it what? doesn't. No, wow. It's a crit. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wow. Okay. okay, so this Gallade is max speed. Um, yeah, I checked before, max... and I was going to put it as a jolly nature, but then I saw, I had to look what um, the main Gallade with max would be, and it said it was, mine was going to be faster. So yeah. I didn't put mine's, it in. For those of you who are looking on the stream, there's its stats on the screen, actually. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, okay. okay. We have our friend Rotom Wash. Oh god, that what a really annoys me. <laughs> Ooh. What's with the crits? This is a crit heavy what... game, isn't it? It's just crits could everywhere. You not, could, could you could you not burn me? No, I I could. I could do it very, very well. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah. I think your Gallade may not be long for this world. Yeah, it's it's not look, going, looking good for it. But then again, it, what the hell? Ooh, it's... <laughs> what the hell is with that Gallade? I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. This comes down to speed. Uh, Rotom Wash I... is horrible with speed. Yeah, it uh... is. Oh. Against the Charizard, I don't know what I don't my Charizard think. is. Yeah, uh, I still got two turns of sun left. There we go. Left. Yep. <laughs> oh. Okay, admittedly, I had, some, I had some crit help there. Very yeah. much so, very much so. Just a bit. Right. So that was, that was crazy, that battle. You know mm. what the funny thing The funny thing is, though, I'm just checking now, and my whole Lucha, if I did put it as a jolly nature, it would have outsped you by 18 speed. Yeah, 
I was well, looking at it. I was looking at the um the stats, and I'm like, oh, if he's if he's um got a positive nature on that one, he's gonna outspeed. I'm like, ah. Oh, yeah. mm, that was, annoys me so. I had contemplated switching out and putting in the Charizard there, and I was like. I, I don't know if, if he's not invested or he's not running the um, beneficial nature. I will at speed and it should do a decent amount of damage. I'm like, let's just let's just hope for the best. Here. When I checked this, <laughs> when I checked this before, it wasn't it didn't say 350. It said like 320 something. But then again, I probably didn't put as jolly. Um, so uh, good game. Yeah, very good game, good guys. Game. Uh, this is the sort of craziness that happens on the league, I suppose. Yep. Mad I hate Chris. Mega Swampert. It always bodies me. Like, I'm, I'm glad you didn't have the Mega Swampert. It bodies me so hard sometimes. Yeah, it can. Swampert can put up with an awful lot of punishment. That's why I like the Rindo Berry one better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is, what, is Mega, what is Swampert's stats like anyway? I've never actually looked. Um, At max HP, it can go up to 404. It's special defense and defense is quite good. Oh. Um, no. So I've got it like I've got it half invested in both and well yeah and HP yeah. so it's quite tanky. All so right. it's pretty much just do your best to murder the thing before it murders you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't believe how little that solar beam did. That battle that did not a... last nearly as long as I thought it would, honestly. If like, you want, just... I can get to one of my other teams and show it, um, show it off there. Uh, save if for next really... time. <laughs> yeah, <I don't laughs> all right. I was going to say, if you really need um, need a uh, battle, I can get something else up and running. Sure, yeah, see, I've only got sure. two teams set up at the moment, and they both are pretty much the same thing. Only the other one has six Pokemon. Uh, the reason I run that Gallade, though, is it knows Fire Punch. Oh, ah. that's, that's interesting. That's why I run it, because it gets the um, sun bonus. Mm. That is oh. quite sneaky. Bad. Still, very, very, like, very nice. I'll tell you it's like what I was going to use for um, my Holucha. It um, has a uh, fling on it, and oh. I have, uh, what's it called? Um, the crown thing that helps flinch. Uh, King's Rock? Yeah, King's Rock. Um, I have that on it, so I fling that, and it flinches you. And then oh. I have un I have unburden on it, and it gets the double speed increase. Excellent. Oh, that's and then aerobat that's um, aerobatics to knock out the delay. That's what my plan was. Yeah, but sneaky, then that sneaky. didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, you took a solar beam to the face, and that was the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I almost used the uh, I almost used ice punch and I'm like wait no no I've got um I think Zen headbutt that that that'll hit for um stab bonus as well I almost played badly they there critted. they critted they critted <laughs> it was crits like looking at, I'm just going back through the log here and every hit is just about every hit it's like uh, Z Jamie use Zen headbutt crit Zen headbutt crit Rose on wash crit Zen headbutt again. Crit. All of the Galates that I have, or well, I think every single one of them is named after a Game of Thrones character. Well, why not? <laughs> That'd be a cool team, actually. A Game of Thrones themed team. Yeah, Mega Guard of Wire and six, uh, Five Dragons. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. No, no, no. It'd only be three dragons. Sorry, yes, three dragons, and I don't know. Uh, Someone like is really gaze. short. A gaze. You just have it in doubles. Yeah. A glaze <laughs> on edge at the end, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Hmm. I don't watch Game of Thrones, so I don't get any of these references. Neither do I, really, but whatever. People love Game oh, of Thrones. I'd be tempted to throw spoilers at you, but I don't think that most of them are appropriate for the stream. Yeah, prob no, no, uh, <laughs> probably not. Game of Thrones is a bit, uh, a bit nasty. A bit adult, this gay. A bit adult, yes. All right. Well, that's enough nonsense for one night, I think, guys. So thank you all very much for coming. No, no problem. problem. That's a pleasure.
Yep. We shall be back in two weeks. Uh, at some point, I believe we are... Yes, we are actually lining up a special episode at some point to go over the rule changes for Prime. And I'll be bringing on uh, a few Prime leaders for that. Uh, that's not part of the, the regular cycle. That one will just pop up on its own. So keep an eye out for that whenever it's ready. Sweet. Yep. All right. Awesome. And, uh, of course, we will have to do a rule change episode for PAX Australia as well. Yep. But, uh, right. So long as Mega Kangaskhan stays banned. Mega Kangaskhan will forever be banned because Mega Kangaskhan is broken. Horribly, horribly broken. A bit. I see the, the little, um, not the Esper, bigger one, Laven. <laughs> oh, um, except that one time I saw someone use, um, a, a Gardevoir trace the Mega Kangaskhan's parental bond. I like that. I've seen that. That is hilarious. That is awesome. I never thought of that. I tried to make a whole <laughs> team based around um, make, giving Mega Gardevoir, um, giving Mega Gardevoir that, and then no Gardevoir that, and um, it just didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to pull off. Yeah, yeah. you have got to just have the right circumstances. But that is awesome. Or, you know, a slacking with, like, pixelate or something like that. That's all also interesting. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, slacking is evil incarnate. That is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, ch challenges. Just remember, bring that when you fight Diesel. Obviously, he's afraid of it. <laughs> yeah, bring Mega Slackings. Wait, oh mega god, slackings. no, no, <laughs> let's not do that, no, no mega slacking. You're giving Nintendo ideas. <laughs> I am, I forget what we were actually talking and what mega we came up last week. Uh, oh yeah, mega Zekrom. But, oh, uh, why? Why Zekrom's, would that exist? Zekrom's kind of underpowered. But, uh, okay, okay, here's what they need to do if they do a mega Zekrom. They need to have it so that if you, if you have a Zekrom and it's illusioned onto something else... When it goes Mega, it looks like it goes into that Pokemon's Mega if it has one. I think you're talking Just about Zoroark and not Zekrom. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Zekrom's, Zekrom's, Zekrom's the big Zekrom's dragon the thing. Have, the Zekrom's yeah, the one I have like six shinies of. <laughs> <laughs> GG, mate. Yeah. I yeah. keep getting them on Wonder Trade. Uh, uh. Shiny Jirachi. I seem to attract those things. I know why you're getting them. Wasn't it an event recently? Um, no, 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 no. Um, there's a YouTuber called um, The King Nappy. I and know every Nappy. Week, yeah, he does the um, live streams every week. I think it's like 10, 10 o'clock in the morning Australia time he does them. So 5 o'clock his time. Yeah. And um, they do, what's ref they do a, um, a legendary hunt. So basically, they decide, uh, he and the guy who does it with PK Sparks, they pick a legendary and they keep wonder trading until they get that legendary. And the current one is Jirachi. That's yeah. why you're seeing more Jirachis at the moment and why I see so many Zekroms because people are still getting rid of them. Yep, yep. After, after the amount they jammed. Yeah, they got the Zekrom a few weeks ago, I remember. But the uh, problem with Wonder Trade Wednesday is you notice they tend to start uh, breaking Wonder Trade now. Yeah, um, the live stream's being moved to Saturday, our time, Friday theirs. Wonder Trade Friday, which, which gives an entirely new acronym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only problem is that I have yoga when the stream's running. <laughs> which means I either have to get up an hour, uh, a couple of hours earlier and go to an earlier yoga session or miss Wonder Trade Friday. Or you could Wonder Trade <laughs> while at yoga, you only need one finger. I need I need to like build a device to automate wonder trading. Oh, that that would be awesome. But yeah, pose make a whole code and out trade. of it. Pose and trade. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so difficult. That would be extremely difficult. But uh, yeah, so I, there was talk of them moving it over permanently to one trade Saturday. I don't know what's uh, going on on that front now, because apparently they were, were about to pull the pin on it last week and then. All of a sudden, it started working again. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll see you on Thursday. Yeah, probably. 
Mm. We haven't run into each other. We haven't run into each other in the Wonder Trade yet, but I think it's only a matter of time. You will probably get my uh, Pax Breeding Rejects. <laughs> They'll be like, ha, now I know what he's using in his team. <laughs> you already know. That's, that's not fair. I do. <laughs> Uh, the only problem is I actually have to breed because I've just I just um, last week traded off my last box of breed jacks. So I need to come up with something I want to breed for competitive use because honestly I've done all my packs breeding so I've got nothing. Yeah, I've actually got to go back to my packs breeding because I found I missed an egg move on a poke. Oh, I did that and then I couldn't be bothered fixing it. Yeah, like... <laughs> The thing is, Stop. I could replace this egg move with another move, but it's just not the same. It was on my casual team, so I wasn't particularly fussed. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, we were actually closing down before we get to oh, yeah. again. My <laughs> <laughs> bad. All right. So thank you, everyone, for joining uh, the podcast. Uh, once again, of course, join the Pokemon League website which is www.paxpokemonleague.net. Jump in on the forums and, you know, just talk pokemon -y nonsense with us. It's good fun. And, of course, join us at PAX. And if you've watched this, you know we're good at nonsense. Oh, we're extremely good at nonsense. There's... Well, I wouldn't say good. Uh, is... I would think of a lot more, a, a lot more um, adjectives besides good. Good but... is a relative term. <laughs> It's a, yes. it's a convenient term picked out of the cloud of more appropriate ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am going to flick us back to the logo. Here we are. So thank you for listening, everyone. And we shall see you next time. Sweet. Right. See you. Bye. Bye.